If you're looking for some sweet, sweet cash flow in a really tight real estate market here in 2019, look no further. I have the list of the best cash flowing markets that you really want to investigate because the cash flow is dwindling and these spots have the last bit of it. At the end of this article, I'll let you know the number one city that was on all five lists that I checked. But first, let me go over a couple things. Number one, the metrics that these lists used are price to rent ratio, the local economy, the housing supply, and the overall desirability of the living there. Do people actually want to move there? Now, there were a lot of cities that were on two of the five lists. I'm going to go over that first. And then the one city that was on three lists and the one city that was on all five. Let's start with the two lists. Those cities include Detroit, Dallas, New York City, Nashville, Boston, Atlanta, Denver, Tampa, Lakeland, Florida, and Cincinnati, Ohio. There may have been one or two more that I missed, but to be honest, it was really tough to compare five tabs on a small computer and get it all done. The only city to make three of the list is Chicago, which is weird because it was actually one of the worst markets to invest in according to another article I read. But they said even though the population is going a bit down in Chicago, it's still a huge economic hub in the middle of the country. It's a lot of business, a lot of money there, and there's a lot of tough foreclosure laws which has made it so that the prices here in 2019 have not even surpassed what they were in 2006. And now the city that has made all five lists. Are you ready? It is, drum roll, <laughs> Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Mickey Mouse's backyard. But why, why, why Orlando? What is so good about it? Number one, you got great weather almost year round. I mean, it's a bit hot in summer, but besides that, great weather. It's affordable. Taxes and insurance are low in Orlando. Remember, no state income tax. I guess other, um, and then other insurance is low. It's not on the coast, so you don't have to worry about that. There is plenty to do. There is interest from around the country and the world because everyone knows Mickey Mouse, Disney World, Orlando. You have a lot of Central and South America that wants to come up to, Orlando, uh, to Miami but can't afford Miami, so they go a bit north. Plus, there's 4.4% of job growth, which is very healthy, which lures a lot of people there, which lures in more business. Orlando is by far the best place according to this overall assessment that I've seen. And that's an hour and a half away from Tampa where I invest myself and where I prefer. In closing, those are the best cities for cash flow according to these authors. Remember that everyone has a different perspective, opinion, and goals. So you gotta assess what is important to you if you're going for more appreciation, if you're going for more cash flow, and what your risk tolerance is. A lot of people don't want to invest from afar, but remember, you gotta go with what your goals are too. If you're living in LA or San Francisco and you want a cash flow, what's better? investing in your own backyard and being in the negative knowing that it's not helping your goals or setting up a team and investing from afar where at least you're achieving your goals and even though it's a bit scary that's going to set you up much better long term i would rather invest from afar and visit and set up a team than lose money in my own backyard that's just me those are the cities to consider check below for the links of the actual articles do your own research and if you have any questions about tampa or orlando i'm happy to set you up with my partner realtors that i do business with that i refer as well and hopefully they can help you out thank you so much for tuning in to the millennials guide to real estate my name is brad subscribe and click that little station get my free guides as well it'll help you out give you some clarity and best of luck in 2019 see you later